going to open up in Seattle and then here against the 49ers. Looking forward to being here in L.A. By the way, that's a big scream for you. How many of those are your fans? Like, who you got with you? You got your family and yeah, stuff? Yeah, just, I just have my family, my four daughters, my wife over there, some Rams people. We got the Rams cheerleaders over here. So it's, uh, <laughs> we're, uh, we're running kind of deep right now. We got a lot of people. He said, just my family, all four kids. If Ram quarterback Matthew Stafford is inside Dodger Stadium, the football season can't be far away. Stafford and his family take the field to see old friends, including his old high school teammate, Clayton Kershaw, before making the ceremonial first pitch. And with week one in sight, the Dodgers switch gears and analytics to finalize their pigskin preparation. Some people get over um, over confused with all the information. Yeah. Like um, essentially, what you got? Like them and them and them. Everybody has laptops and everybody, everybody's a little, you know, pressing a little bit. It's just uh, geez, we had our minds made up. Gotta let the game come to you. I'm kind of just the, the I'm kind of the guy that just walks around, and talks trash, and sits kind of behind the scenes, tries to make some trades, and you know I didn't have I didn't have much to do with the draft. I'm going to tell you that right now. I think Barnsley basically picked the whole team. Jefferson went first. Yeah, we go. Jefferson, uh, who went second? Uh, a couple of young guys up there working the draft board. Uh, didn't do a great job this year. You know, I'm not going to say names again, but a couple of young guys that had a hard time keeping up with the speed of the draft. You know, uh, some could say it sped up on them. Who do you need? Big seven. Big seven. Then Bijan. No, Derek Henry one eight. Derek. And then Bijan nine. And then Bijan nine. I have, oh, your other draft we have our good. draft going on. I have my college draft going on right now, and I'm trying to get the board set with all the picks that are being made. <laughs> Tony's not here to help us. Hey, Tony. Burns pretty much running the show, so just trying to help those guys out as much as I can. It's a little chaotic, you know? Oh, wow. Hey, who got Derek Henry? Wow. Bobby Miller, come on now. Come on, bro. Same That's a nice pick. What? I think we were going as fast as we could. We just didn't get any name. We didn't get enough names. Everyone was behind on the names, and we were scrambling, looking at screens, trying to you know follow the draft. But uh, it would have been easier if we had like a phone that we could have followed it on just for us. But yeah, next year we got that. We got the combo. We got the combo from the Philadelphia Phillies. They want the We made a fatal mistake early in the draft. Decided to go Keenan Allen over Justin Herbert. But we got we're going to let the people. Decide. We got Trevor Lawrence in the next round, so you know I feel totally good about it. Trevor Lawrence. Oh yeah, the defense of the forty nine ers. Let's go. <laughs> first, first guys to take the defense right here. <laughs> Woo, baby! You know, we were on a good run, and then Juan kind of took over here in the middle round, so. Started off hot, but we're kind of tapering now. <laughs> Why did you let him take over? Yeah, he said he did all the research, so it's really, it's really on him, you know? It's kind of where we're at. 
That's how I like it, though. I want all the credit and none of the oh, blame. So it's kind of. Do you want to do it yourself? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool. A lot of great picks. Dude. A lot great of team. great picks. Yeah. Our team name is so good. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're looking really nice with Jalen Hurts as our QB. <laughs> We got Kelsey. We got Kamara. We got Walker the third. I kind of like it right now. We're pretty balanced. 49ers defense, too. It went early, but we got the top defense. Team's looking fantastic. Justin Fields, Derrick Henry, Ramondre Stevenson, Garrett Wilson, Amari Cooper, Evan Ingram, Mike Williams. <laughs> Not too sure about the flex, Mike Williams. Hopefully he can stay healthy, but if he stays healthy, I think we'll be all right. Final standings projections. The league. Already? Yeah. We're in second place. Orcas is second Orcas No, Orcas is third. No, who really stinks is Team Oilers. You got last on the projections. My team is full, essentially. I, although I don't have Dak Prescott. I don't know how that got there. Or Darren Waller. What is happening? Wait, what? Those are, those are over here. What's happening? <laughs> I mean, uh, hey, can we take a picture of this to memorialize how well they did? Can you guys take a picture of that? You would think this is the middle of the draft. This is the end. We're done. And that's what's captured. Backstage Dodgers is brought to you by Cadillac. There's a 90 mile an hour curveball. Bob, shut up. You have a slider. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Don't need it. You don't need it. You got this, you got this, you got this, you got this, and a hard thing moving that way. That's five. You're good. Ryan Pepio is back with a Dodgers team that has a different look from when he last played with them. Now, rookies Bobby Miller and Emmett Sheehan are right where he expected to be at the end of spring training in the starting rotation. Ryan Pepio, his final spring training start. Just been told he made the roster as the fifth starter. Um, so super excited and go out there and start pitching in that game and kind of just oblique tightened up on me. And uh, after that second, first inning went on, from the second inning on, it was kind of like a knife in my side every time I threw a ball. And Dave Roberts taking a walk from the dugout, so Ryan Pepio's night will be through his final tune-up. The first couple weeks, they were pretty tough. Obviously a disappointment uh, for not being able to be out there uh, when the season started, and then also some frustration to expecting it to be a couple weeks. A couple weeks turned into about three and a half months. But it was pretty exciting to just be able to watch the guys and watch some of the younger guys, like Bobby and Stoney and um, Emmett and some of those guys that I'd come up the system with make meaningful impacts to the team. So now Ryan Pepio, see if he can do more of the same against the fish, this time on the road. Rolled right side, Rosario's there. Two down. Finally, after healing from an oblique strain, the six foot three inch Butler University product debuted for the Dodgers in August. Proving a steady hand since, his make you notice outing came in Miami when he got a glimpse of perfection. In the air, that's five pitches for Pepio in the sixth. 18 up, 18 down. Two down in the seventh, Ryan Pepio, first Dodger rookie. He perfect through six innings since Hiroki Kuroda. Back in 2008. On the ground and through. A base hit for Josh Bell. First hit, first base runner against Ryan Pepio tonight. Swing and a miss, strike three. Tip of the cap to you, kid, Ryan Pepio. Seven shutout. Clearly comfortable with his teammates in the dugout and in the outfield shagging flies, 
Papio's always been one of the fellas, as evidenced in late March when they visited the swag factory known as Travis Matthew. Gentlemen, welcome in. How we doing, man? What's up, man? I'm Greg. Dan, nice to Dan, gentlemen, how we doing? Brian, Brian nice Greg Fowler. Hey, Greg, good, to see you. good to see you, buddy. How we doing? Greg, Greg. We do a lot of stuff on the work, on the field, in the gym, and all that stuff. So it's nice to get around with the guys outside the field and enjoy something that's other than baseball. So we're making our way into this. This is gonna be the design graphic actual wing here. So pretty much this is where all the product is concepted and then is actually moved over to the production team to actually go physically source the product. So for us, it's an 18 month process to get it from like literally a pencil to on that actual wow. retail floor, which is, which is pretty amazing. This is the working facility. We have the fully functioning merch rooms. As you can see, it literally comes from CADs to paper to, to swatches here. So it's just a fully functioning factor here. 2007 is when the brand started and literally that was the first mix. We literally did a mix of black and white polos and it was like a, the whole, whole aesthetic was where something that you can kind of wear on and off the course. Everything was so pleated, pa pleated pants, baggy polos, so much poly, just kind of this aggressive kind of golf uniform and we wanted to create this, this kind of cooler aesthetic. So we're kind of playing off our golfers and then right in 2015, this is kind of when we kind of brought in the more, more lifestyle side of it with some of the, the older models. This is old, old Johnny here, this cool like yoga instructor <laughs> that kind of helped out the, the bridging of we're not just like for this younger brand. So, and then it started just a gro it's growing from there. So gentlemen, welcome to the Travis Matthews Sevens Club. We got the Dodgers full send. That's our motto around here. Full sends, no half sends. So we like to have, have a little fun, let loose back here a little bit. We, we got our outside events guys over here just schooling people on the ping pong table. I know you guys like to play a little ping pong. So these, these guys are, these guys, these guys, that, that glass ping pong table, that, that thing hits a little bit differently. Our, our fabricator actually makes those things custom. So it's a little bit of a home field advantage. But we, I got you guys set up. Okay, this, we're gonna do a little close to the pin challenge. I think we got a five feet, five, four feet, you beat, you beat Will. In true Travis Matthew form, we always gotta have a little fun, a little competitive nature. So we have the Travis Matthew closest to the pin challenge. We always gotta take over Pebble Beach, hole seven. Hit the rock and bounce back. Hey, that's playable. Six feet for the guy. How you done? Here we go. Oh man! Get the car path bounce. Get the bounce. Oh, that would have been tight. Car path bounce would have played. I feel the car path bounce would have played. It would have played. Yeah, you guys want to get a little? You guys want to shoot some hoops too? We can. We can get some hoops on too, for sure. Oh wow. <laughs> Dead spot. <laughs> it's just you just gotta edit, put you the gotta edit on. it so it's just all makes. It's Always just put the makes on. Just make, <laughs> make. Uh, yep. Sick. We'll get one for content wise. There it is, there it is. Start it start it small. What? Are you nasty? Change? No change for making the half quarter? Hey, I'm playing myself onto the team. There's a really cool work environment that they have here where they have that like that cool little um, sevens club where they got a bunch of parlor games and golf simulator, stuff like that, basketball courts. So this would be a cool place to work for sure. Fun day here with the guys, little little brand, little culture, little product. It's all about good times. Hey, let's take a picture. Can you take me a picture? Got you. I got my, uh, come on, you gotta be in it. Where you going? I ain't messing where, up that Where you going? I ain't messing up that picture. You gotta be in it. Come on, man. You crazy. Come on, brother. 
Okay. You take. You guys take Please one. Come first. on. You guys take one first. I'll kick your ass here. All right. Looking right here first. One, two, three. He might be based in Boston now, but Justin Turner still has strong ties to Los Angeles through the relationships he built during his nine-year Dodger tenure and the number of charities he supports. So good to see you. Thank you very much. Did you get the tear in my eye? <laughs> oh, man. I'm so happy for you. We hope you enjoy it, man. Okay, if you're a future shoe designer and you come famous, I'm not going to take any of the credit, OK? It's all you. I love it. Thank you. Way to go. <laughs> Having signed with the Red Sox as a free agent did not stop Turner from holding his annual golf tournament in the offseason, a charity event that allowed current and former Dodgers to catch up with and support one of their own. We're out here at Sherwood Country Club in Thousand Oaks, and uh, we got a full field of, of golfers, a lot of familiar faces, a lot of teammates, a lot of former teammates out here supporting, and as far as today goes, uh, couldn't get any better weather, and it's moving along perfectly just like it always has. JT is such a great figure for us in the clubhouse in years past, and so to come out here and participate in an event like this and spend time with JT and the people he's closest with and really help give back to the causes that he supports, it's amazing. Come on, we want a good picture. Jeez. Let me get out of it then. <laughs> it's just a great teammate. I'm blessed to have the opportunity to play with him. What I love about JT is that he's always thinking about people, you know, about giving back and, and being a great teammate. Turner's personal foursome consisted of former Dodgers, including Corey Seager, Nick Punto, and Joe Kelly, whom no one knew would again be a Dodger by season's end. Oh, in the joggers! In the joggers! Joggers out of bed! Wow! Wow! He's in joggers and brand new cleats. Oh my God, I got under that. That was a great drive, though. <laughs> Did you? Did you? Oh, there, baby. Oh, what? This guy is so oh, baby. Let's go. Is that a birdie out of the gates? Oh, this year. <laughs> that Aye. might win the long drive. <laughs> knock, knock. Hold it. Backyard. Come back. Shut up, Siri. <laughs> oh, all right, my day's made. Absolutely. Hit it. Hit it. Hey! <laughs> Do it, Nikki. Yeah! Is that it? Let's go! <laughs> We're all in different organizations, you know, a lot of, a lot of the guys are now. Um, but we all come back and, and, and support. Uh, so that just shows you what kind of character he is and, and how well he's liked around the league. Not to be outdone were the current boys in blue, seemingly led by Evan Phillips, with Tony Gonsolin, Max Muncy, and Chris Taylor on board to compete. My golf game, it got OK. I haven't touched the club in about a month, so it's going to be pretty poor today. That one in the water, yeah? I know I went in the water. You know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just imagine what you can do lefty, and it just makes me upset. I was so excited to see him swing lefty. I got a practice round in yesterday, so I feel like I have a bit more knowledge of the course than everyone else here. So um, I think we could expect some good shots, definitely some bad shots. Uh, the course is going to be playing pretty tough, but it's going to be a good time. We are two under as well, Catboy. Yeah. Yeah, it's right there. Hey, why are you right behind me practicing your... Yeah, don't touch my ball. Uh, should we have a mound visit in the middle of the inning just to, like, regroup and talk about what's going on? Oh. No. Yeah. Playing your own ball. Tony, I won't touch your ball this time. 
Well, you gotta hit another one. Hey, you lost another ball. There you go. He's right on track. No. On the next Backstage Dodgers, the whirlwind debut of a future Dodger flamethrower. This one, two. He strikes out the side in the ninth inning. Kyle Hurd, take a bow.